Matt Datis. Milner out of Laurel, Delaware. Pontiac Astra. 557 is the dial. Matt Datis, Vermilion, Ohio. The 98 Grand Am. For Mr. Datis, he took the Starfire and last night's Mosier Engineering $100,000 Friday down to the ladder round. Final six cars was Mr. Datis before bowing out. Six sixteen, the dial for Matt. These two were on the starting line when we stopped the first time. But right when we stopped, the tree was activated. Lights flashed red. We had to get them back around. We are staged. And away. Milner, Datus, Pontiac on Pontiac. Matt Datus, 22 green, 617 on the 616. Doug Milner wasn't going to get there. 657 was the dial, goes 660 all out. Or 560 all out, excuse me. After being 16 green, Matt Datus covers up Doug Milner. Caden Harrell and Matt Datus. Caden out of Madisonville, Tennessee, 667. The dial for Caden left side. Matt Datus in the Starfire. He took it down to the final six last night. There in the Starfire on Mosier Engineering Friday. Looking to take another deep run here on Jag Saturday. Datus, Harold, Matt is in a good spot, stealing a couple up front and going to get the win. 632 on the 29 for Matt Datus. Was a 11th out in front at the finish. Caden Harold was 32 green, two above four. And is going to be a first round runner up. It's Nathan Schroeder. And Mr. Matt Datus. Schroeder out of Iowa, 605 the dial. Matt Datus out of Ohio. They're in the Grand Am for Mr. Datus. Matt Datus is a very, very, very talented man behind the wheel of that race car. Matt Datus' favorite movie in the history of movies is Caddyshack. And that says everything. Green and green. Nathan Schroeder, Matt Datus. Win light for Datus. So, Matt Datus, how do you compare yourself against other drag racers by height? Nathan Schroeder was 40 green, two above one, and no good. Matt Datus moves on. Sarah Major in the left lane. Sweet Sarah. She's so nice. She dialed 606 in the Maverick. Matt Datus in the right lane. He's really nice, too. He's dialed 630 in the Pontiac Starfire. Twenty four Han head start going to Datus. Nasty. Man, they nasty out there. How about Sarah Major? Double O eight dead on with a five thirteen thou package for Sarah Major taking out the heavy hitter in Matt Datus. He's double O three. And 13 thou above to be 3 thou behind. Sarah, 8, dead 5, getting there 3 thou. 
solid, solid lap for Sarah Major. Jesse Long and Matt Dattis. Jesse out of Woodstock, Georgia, 652 the dial. It starts raining right now. Dattis out of Vermilion, Ohio in the Grand Am right side, 6.15 on the dial. Jesse Long, 6.52 the dial in for Jesse Long in the Malibu. will be leaving first. Red life for Jesse Long. By 52 thousandths of a second, Matt Dattis, 11 green, and a look at 6.15, 6.14.0. There for Matt Dattis. Looking all kinds of good right here. Matt Dattis, 001, 35. Tim Johnson in the left, 565 is the dial right lane. Matt Dattis. Dattis dialed 6.17. And a former... Jimmy DeFrank, super stalker. Getting basically a bulb head start. Red by 12 thou on the left lane. Matt Dattis continues marching on. 15 on the tree. 6 thou under. Ken Clark and Matt Dattis. Clark out of Stewart's Drafts, Virginia. 653 the dial. Matt Dattis. The Grand Am from Ohio. Green, Dattis and Clark, Matt Dattis, 008, arrived to the finish line, 005 in front, to go 619 on the 618 and be good, Ken Clark was 20 on the green light start, needed to be dead on five to have a chance to move the wind light over onto his side of the racetrack, and instead is a hunt above as Matt Dattis will defeat Ken Clark. Next up's John Corbin. Corbin dial 588. That good looking back half Firebird over there. Matt Dattis in the right lane. Matt marching towards another late round finish at a fling. Dialed 618 exactly three tenths head start going to Matt Dattis right side. Corbin's been making very solid runs. He's been in the right lane the whole time. Dattis got his lane and he's been his normal solid self all day. Neither left their best reaction time of the day. But they were very close to one another, and Matt Dattis gets it done. 21 and 16 thou above, 37 total. Corbin, 20 up front, got there 23, broke it out 6 thou. Needed to take 17 or less. Noah Pollard, Matt Dattis. Noah has been throwing down some numbers today. That Camaro out of Greenwood, South Carolina, 632 the dial for Noah. Matt Dattis, Vermilion, Ohio, the Grand Am right side, 619 is the dial. We're going to go from six to three right here for $30,000.
as we have went from sunshine to a lot of cloud cover here in about the last 20 minutes. And it does look a little ominous. Not a lot ominous, but a little bit. Noah Pollard missed the tree. Matt Dadis' double O2 at the start. And Matt Dadis, double O2, 620 on the 619. Matt Dadis makes it down to three cars. Again, when we get to three, Somebody in that semi is going to get a solo, and Matty D was just 002. And as we look down towards the motor mile scoreboard, which has become very customary in the world of bracket racing, on the solo, Matt Dadis in the semifinal has a dial in a 139. In tribute to Sean Sarah, who we lost way, way, way too soon. So Matt Daz is going to get a free look at the racetrack, free look at the Christmas tree, and we'll advance down into the final round of Jeg's $30,000 Saturday. Dadis, 14 green, which is important when we start talking about lane choice. 6 17, 0 for Dadis. Bart Nelson, out of Texas. The dragster right lane, four seven seven, is what Bart has been living on for the last little while. Right side of the racetrack, Matt Dadis did not have lane choice, pushed over to the left lane. Dadis in the Grand Am out of Ohio, six one seven, is what Dadis has on that Grand Am here in the final. Thirty thousand dollars. The trophy, the big check, and to be able to say last one out of 648 entries is going to go down right about now. Away and away. Dadis dropped it. Double O one and Matt Dadis. Double O one, 618 on the 617. Locks out Bart Nelson. Nelson was 18 green. And the other number didn't matter as Matt Dadis. 16 on the combined numbers. Bart Nelson was 18 up front. And congratulations to Matt Dadis. Extremely talented young man in that Grand Am. Going to take home the win on Jeg's $30,000 Saturday. As the event rolled on over here into Sunday, and Matt Dadis is the last one standing out of 648 48 entries. To props to Bart Nelson, who took two entries deep, deep, deep into eliminations, made it all the way down into the final round, ended up on the wrong side of Matt Dadis, who left 001. Tip of the cap to Matt Dadis. Last two cars down the track, and he was pretty special. We'll be down in front of the tower with our winner's circle presentation to Matt Dadis. Our winner here on Jag's $30,000 Saturday. Down here in the winner's circle with our winner on Jag's $30,000 Saturday is what we call it as Saturday rolled into Sunday. Matt Dadis, and I know we've talked before, you have been chasing one of those for a really long time. You are right. I, uh, I dropped the ball in the final here for half a million dollars. Uh, I run it up actually this day one year ago uh, to Garrett Griffith uh, in the 30 grand around Sunday, I think. And uh, this one's, like you said, long time coming and finally uh, put it all together.
You know, you had a rolling in the 100 grand or in the Starfire. Man, the Grand Am today was really, really good. And then the final round, you're just like, you know what? I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to throw one on the starting line and completely lock out Bart there in that final. Tell us about that final round. Oh, man. Uh, Bart, he's a crafty veteran. I mean, he's one of the legends of the sport. So it's just uh, uh, humbling to be able to turn a wind light on next to him. And just, I don't know, I, was, I rolled a foul in in the water box to be 001 and just... I hadn't been in the left lane, but probably two times all weekend. So it's just, I don't know, got got lucky there, a little bit of calculation and ended up uh, turning the wind light on. You know, so many help you, so many people help you with your racing program. You're so talented behind the wheel, but who do you want to thank? First, my dad. Uh, Bristol means a lot to us. It's, uh, he kicked their asses pretty much here, but uh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's pretty surreal. I run it up in the junior drag race here and always kind of held it on my shoulders that I was the only fam- only family member uh, to never win a big race here. My sister won the Junior Dragster National Championship here. So uh, my parents, first of all, my parents, my sister, everyone, my girlfriend, Carly, I've forgotten her in some inv- interviews before, um, but just all these companies. I mean, there's so many people to thank. Uh, Mickey Thompson, Weissco, TBM Brakes, Motion Race Works, Deutschler's Tire Service, I gotta try to not forget them all. Uh, Trick Flow, APD Carburetors, Mickey Thompson Tires. I mean, they're, the, the amount of people uh, that help make this happen is unbelievable for me. I, I never would have ever guessed I'd have this many people on board. Maxima Oil, I switched to them this year. Um, Gene and Dave Lampshire, they, make, they, they don't realize what they do for me to make this happen and it, it means the world to me for them to be on board. TFC, they are uh, they're huge. Bo Butner, he came on board this year with me. Him and I are pretty good buddies and uh, I was able to win in his shirt today. So uh, he's been wearing a mountain super gas so I'm trying to catch up with him and this stuff. So just, I mean, there's so many people. I can I, I could name Magnafuel, Glenn Smith, uh, the Laws, Steve Law, Josh, Lester. We've been hanging out all weekend. We had a blast. I had to follow up Josh. Thanks for watching, and uh, it's uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, R and R Auto Body, uh, FTI, Marco, all those, everyone that has ever had anything to do with me, they know it, it means the world, and and I'm so blessed. You know, I think the only person that you didn't think there was Santa Claus. Uh, I did forget two people actually, Rick Speedway Performance and Rick Cole Racing Transmissions. They are huge, huge guys that make all this happen. So uh, thanks Santa Claus too. <laughs> Matt, that is our winner. Hey, and our final question is Matt, how do you compare yourself to other drag racers? By height. That's right, baby. Our winner on <laughs> Jags, $30,000 Saturday, Monday. Matt Dattis, our winner today. Big round of applause. <laughs>